My dream is always to go back in time. What was it like a hundred years ago? Here we can do that. A lot of people refer to the Gardens of the Queens as the crown jewel of the Caribbean. It is one of the few places that you can see a coral reef ecosystem the way it was thousands of years ago. It's life stacked upon life stacked upon life. It's all these things that it seems like the Caribbean ceased to embody. This is the last example we have of this ecosystem fully functioning and full of life. This entire ecosystem is connected. It's complex, it's fragile. This is something the world needs to see. The world needs to learn about places like this, and they need to learn why places like this don't exist. In 1984, Fidel Castro flew here, and he went diving with Jacques Cousteau in the Gardens of the Queen, and he was mesmerized by what he saw. So the line was drawn around it, and he protected it. So Cuba has one of the largest marine protections in the world. 25% of Cuban waters are protected. How can we be in harmony with a protected place and actually both benefit from it? That's something that's happening here, and that's something that we can learn. The number one thing that's special about this area is how they limit the access of ships. Several boats could remove every shark in the Gardens of the Queen within a couple of days. It's complicated. It has to do with the political environment, but the government mandates that these businesses have to hire marine biologists to do the management plan. And so the government, working with the small businesses, working with the marine biologists, create a system that works. And this place is a testament to that. You don't need to be a scientist to realize what's happened here. Stand back and just look. To get into the mangrove systems and see light shafts coming through sardines, small microinvertebrates and crocodiles, it's right here in your face. And there's no humans anywhere. And then get out into the open blue, plop in, boom, eight foot sharks swirling around you. Caribbean reef sharks, silky sharks, goliath groupers, tiger groupers, these are the big megafauna that says this is a healthy reef ecosystem. It's a blueprint of success that can be followed by every other Caribbean nation. Nature has evolved over four billion years to reach a balance of perfection. If you remove one thing from this fragile complex ecosystem, you have begun an unraveling process that we can't fully fathom. The simple solution to this is to protect it all. Draw a line around it and allow it to do its thing. If you protect it, it will thrive.